The Duchess of Sussex stepped out in a typically chic ensemble for her engagement on Thursday, but royal watchers may have noticed something rather unusual about her shoes. Meghan's nude stilettos appeared to be rather roomy, with there being plenty of extra space around the sides and the back of the shoe. Celebrity stylist Lucas Armitage claims that this is likely a deliberate decision of the 37-year-old royal in light of her pregnancy. Speaking to the Mail Online Armitage revealed that this is a trick used by many expectant mothers. He said, buying a shoe a size or two bigger is a trick often utilized by pregnant women worried about dreaded foot swelling. Foot swelling is a common side effect of pregnancy, caused by the accumulation of fluid in the tissues. Expectant women produce about 50% more blood and fluids to accommodate for the baby meaning that they are more prone to swelling. Eagle-eyed fans may also have spotted a dirty mark on one of the heels of Meghan's nude stilettos, something that can easily be avoided according to Lucas. He added, The heel has some dirt where she may have walked on grass or soil and she may benefit from using a protection spray on her suede courts to avoid staining. But while her footwear may have been a little grubby, the pregnant duchess looked typically chic for her official visit with the ACU in her new role as patron of the international organization. She opted for a dramatically different hairstyle today in the form of a chic top knot. Meghan's new hairstyle coincides with a busy week of royal engagements, and an expert has revealed the hairdo is the perfect way for the duchess not to have to wash her hair too often which is a bonus if her locks have become weaker during pregnancy. Not only do updos give you extra time in bed in the morning, but they also prevent your hair from overstyling, explained celebrity stylist James Johnson. During pregnancy, some women either find the extra hormones can make their stronger, whereas some ladies conversely find themselves with weaker hair and prone to snapping. By keeping it up for events, Megan is avoiding the general wear and tear your hair goes through each time it's styled for an occasion. He added that an updo was also an ideal way for Megan to avoid further damage from styling the hair. This can be anything from too much heat, to too much product, he explained. By having her hair in a bun, Megan has coincided her hair routine with her busy schedule, no doubt helping her mornings run more smoothly but also giving her dark locks a well-deserved break from styling too. The bun featured here on Megan is an unusual structured, sleek look for her. It's nice to see Megan try something out of her comfort zone and different from the textured, undone hairstyle she usually opts for. She may even bring back the trend of the donut, let's see. The top bun is a new sophisticated style that we haven't seen Megan fashion before. Back on 4 September she opted for a sophisticated but casual side bun as she attended the Well Child Awards in London. Prior to this, she tied her hair back in a neat low bun with parted center when she met the Irish president and his wife in July, which marked hers and Harry's first visit to Ireland as a married couple. Today's engagement was Meghan's second this week, after she attended the National Theatre on London South Bank yesterday in her first official visit since succeeding the Queen as its royal patron. On Friday she will travel to Bristol for a joint engagement alongside her husband Prince Harry her third engagement of the week. During today's visit the Duchess will meet students from the Commonwealth now studying in the UK, for whom access to university has transformed their lives.